We are in Gigabytes Cafe in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this here is Gavin. He drove up from Savannah today for the tournament. Um, so we're having a tournament today, and this is actually the final round of the tournament at the top table. We are playing Land Grab. Um, this is a focal point mission, so we have five focal points, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one in that building over there with those white counters. And just as a refresher, uh, focal points count as one if you manage to get a ground unit uh, within six inches of them at the end of the game, and if you have more points in ground units than your opponent at the end of the game on a focal point, you get an additional two. So it's one point for contesting, two points for owning. Uh, six turn game, we're allowed to directly deploy, and going into this mission, I think I have a two victory point advantage in the tournament standings. So, uh, that's the situation, and we'll be back in a second with the army lists. And I apologize for the noise, but we got a tournament going on, so there's nothing I can do about it. See you soon. Alright, uh, my name's Cameron, by the way. This is my army list. 1,250 points, PHR. I've got a Zeus Walker with a level 2 commander, an Odin Walker inside a Neptune. I have a squad of Sirens as my exotic choice, and a Triton with miniguns. Then I've got a standard battle group with four Ares in a squad, two Phobos in a squad, sharing a Poseidon for transport. Infantry battle group with a squad of immortals in a Triton with miniguns and a squad of two Erebos in a Neptune. And then another infantry battle group with a squad of immortals in a Triton with miniguns and a Helios support squad inside a Neptune. Uh, I'll be back in a second with Gavin's list. Alright, so uh, my battle groups, my headquarter battle group here is a Ferrum with a Kodiak, a uh, lieutenant is my commander. I have an armor battle group here with uh, three sabers and a condor with missiles and three rapiers just driving on. Infantry battle group here, uh, we got both of them, one, uh, two Raven A's with two stands of infantry per, that's uh, two different battle groups there. I got a small battle group of the Wolverines over here, uh, just four of them for an expeditionary battle group. And then I got my heavy battle group here with a Gladius and a Condor, no missiles, two longbows with the Raven Bees with missiles. Alright, sounds good. We'll be back in a second with deployment. So uh, this is my direct deployment here. I just deployed my uh, headquarters battle group behind this building. The uh, roll-on rapiers and the wolverines are rolling on. And, uh, Everything else is still in readiness. Uh, since I play PHR, all my guys are in transports, and I can't directly deploy any of them. So I start in readiness. And we will be back at the end of turn one. We're at the end of turn one. So I moved on, I deployed my Erebos and my command group and my Helios, I put a squad of infantry back there, and my main battle group is still packed up in the Poseidon. That's about it. I left uh, two infantry squads off the board. And uh, what'd you do? I uh, just moved everything up a little bit here in my bubble. Uh, one thing of note was my Kodiak was able to kill uh, Erebus turn one with the with the orbital bomber. Yeah, the Erebus was here. His scouts had a line of sight on it, and he just killed it turn one. I got my infantry running the sidelines here. Yep, one over there, infantry one behind there, and uh, that's pretty much it. You know, tanks deployed there, right here, scooted up, along those behind this building. Got the drones out to the center of the board. I got a I got a Condor with Gladius still in it back here, so they haven't deployed yet. Alright, see you at the end of turn two. Alright, end of turn two. Um, my Helios moved up here. Uh, the way he has six battle groups, so he can kind of force me to go first a lot of the time, because I only have four battle groups. So they moved around the corner and shot as many of his uh, drones as he could. They killed four, uh, and they're kind of hampered because they could only see six of them, so they couldn't allocate their shots efficiently. My main guy uh, dumped my main battle group here, the Poseidon. Uh, Phob or Ereba, uh, Erebos moves up there. Command group moved up here and was just barely in range of some sabers. They killed one and took a couple damage points off that building. It's down to 17 now. That's about it. My Two of my infantry groups are still off the board. And 
I think that's about it for me. Go ahead. Hi, for me, I, uh, I hid both my infantry groups behind these two buildings here. Yep. Uh, they're just kind of hugging the wall. Went over here, deployed my flatty eye, good fire lane down the center. Uh, smoked them with the longbows. Uh, Sabres moved up, they shot the Odin, did nothing. Raven Bees just moved up here, hiding. They're going to pounce out and try and do something. Rapiers are still trundling along with the, with the Barum in the back. The Kodiak was able to kill one of the heroes. Yeah, Kodiak's on fire. He needed a five to hit that because it's a skimmer and uh, took it out. Two damage points. And uh, I think that's all the damage I did. So well, the, 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 uh, the Ferrum drones tried to shoot that Helios there. Um, they needed fours because of the Arab back here, it was within 12 inches, and so they only got one hit, and then they couldn't damage it. So. Alright, we will see you at the end of turn three. At the end of turn three, again, really sorry for the noise here, uh, these guys stayed put, my sirens came on the board, moved into here, at the end of the turn I played an underground monorail between these two buildings, so guess what's going to go on over there. Uh, um, he's just been getting crazy dice rolls, so it feels like every time he hits, he doubles out my guy. So it was this turn, right, where you killed the Helios and the Ar Helios and Yeah, so two two Gladius firing here, they killed a Helios and an Erebos, and, you know, one each. And the drones, did they, they killed an Ares, right? Yeah, the drones and the... Two, two drones. Two drones, two killed, drones one killed one Ares. They rolled a... Uh, Single and they rolled. They rolled the six they needed to double it out, and then the Kodiak, third turn in a row, killed a two damage point unit. So it's called a Helios, an Erebos, and now an Ares. The, the Kodiak is just going crazy. And uh, the Phobos shot some drones. The Ares killed a saber. I think killed a saber. Um, this infantry squad got into that building, and the. Uh, Triton is going to the deck behind it. Oh, and I damaged his Gladius with my command unit. Over there. All right, and what'd you do? Uh, well, you were over most of it. Uh, I put three points on the Poseidon as well. Oh, yeah, his his Wolverines put three points on the Poseidon. Four Wolverines. Like, crazy, crazy shooting. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. You pretty much covered it. I just kind of advanced a little more. Yeah, you got your infantry in the, in the two side focal points now. So one over there, one over here. And I think that's about it. All right, we'll see you at the end of turn four. End of turn five. Um, so you'll see my dead pile over here. It's funny, for a while I had a field repair card in my hand, which heals a damage point. And I was holding it because I was like, ah, oh, you know, every unit in my army has two damage points, so I'm bound to, you know, have a guy with a damage on him at some point. But no, actually, we were talking about this. There's actually not been a single time where he's fired at a vehicle of mine and done only one damage. And I don't know which ones you did this turn. It was uh, Phobos. No, I think it was uh, your 1A. Aries, the, yeah, yeah, but everything has been, every single walker mine has been killed by a double damage. It's just been brutal. All right, so anyway, this turn, um, I killed a bunch of his wolverines with stealth missiles. My dropships rolled pretty well, taking them down. Um, my infantry went into here, and they've got joined, obviously. Uh, they're standing put. My sirens are in there. He decided to leave rather than fight them. Um, was that last turn? Was this turn? That was yeah, last that was turn. Pretty oh, yeah, I'm getting confused. Um, these guys, how many turns have they been firing at your Gladius? Like two or three now. I think three turns of non-stop fire at that front Gladius, and an Odin and a Zeus have managed to do one damage point, which he healed with a field repair. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a tight finish to the game. Um, we'll see how it goes. How, how'd your turn go? Uh, my turn went pretty good. I, you know, I still got lucky and doubled up that one guy. Um, my Gladius can't hit the broadside of the Odin, apparently, though. Which, yeah, yeah. To, to be fair, he he can't hurt me either. Which, yeah. So uh, you got some infantry in there. You got some infantry in there. And that's gonna be tight. Yeah, we got a couple rapiers coming around. Yeah. All right, that's it. We'll see you. Oh, what? You killed this bait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had some raven bees hanging out here. They were the transports for the longbow. And he needed to go pick up his longbows because he wanted to put them near a focal point. But uh, my phobos, before it died, reaction fired one of them, killed it. And now he can't move them because they have to stay in coherency. So they're stuck there. So that, that was good on my part. All right, we will see you at the end of the game. End of the game. Now uh, we can go through what happened on each part of the board. Uh, these guys should actually be on the wall here. 
so they went to the wall. He tried to jump his infantry over here. They reaction fired with their small arms, blew up his transport. Both the bases survived, and they got to contest that focal point. Um, my Odin and my Zeus took their shots at the Gladius again. So four turns of nonstop shooting against a Gladius in the open, hitting on twos, and it makes you do one damage point. It's just crazy. Um, they and because of that, the Gladius, the two Gladius tanks were worth slightly more points than the Siren. So because I couldn't kill one Gladius, uh, he ended up winning that focal point. In the center, he deployed infantry. They beat my guys up in the CQB um, and killed it. And then he managed to kill my Odin over here. And because of that, he has a saber, three rapiers around the back, and his guys on the inside. Um, that meant that he won this middle focal point. But if the Odin had stayed alive, I would have won that one too. So again, really, really close. Um, he had that one, no question. And he had that one. So we were just talking about this. Um, he ended up getting the giant victory. It was like 17 to 3. But um, if I had managed to kill one Gladius and my Odin had stayed alive, or not even an Odin, just like like one or two more walkers had managed to stay alive in the center, I would have won the mission. Because I would have had this focal point here, the Sirens would have beaten them on this focal point, and I still would have had this one over here. And then it would have been like a like a 11 9. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, congrats to Gavin. He just won our tournament uh, in in style with a 17 point victory on the final mission. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess my plan going in, you know, I looked at his list and I thought, okay, I got all this stuff here. I got four Ares, I got two Erebos, I got a Zeus and Odin. I got all these shape charge shots. You know, I got lots of AA because I got Helios, I got Phobos, I got the Erebos, which are going to mess up his Ferrum drones. So I was like, you know what? All I need to do is control the center. I could, should be able to blow up his tanks. I should be able to hold off his drones with all those AA units and the Erebos and stuff. And if I can control the center, I can, you know, keep him from I'm getting to these side things, and and I should be able to win the focal points. But man, the beginning of the mission, like all through those first couple turns, I just took so many losses, and he rolled so many double damage rolls. I like all my ground forces died, um, and I don't really know what else I could have done about it. I mean, maybe in my deployment, I could have bunched up a little more, or I could have deployed a little bit farther back and then tried to walk up. Um, so my guys were on the ground a turn earlier, but even then, like a lot of his kills were with things like the uh, the Ferrum, which was still going to get over to me. Uh, the Kodiak killed three of my guys over the game, so like I couldn't do anything about that. Um, so I don't really know what else I could have done. Um, so it was just just kind of rough to lose all those guys in the middle. I don't know. What did you think? What was your strategy going in? Um, I was. You know, I, I just wanted to push center a little bit and then kind of envelop it at the end. I wanted to reach my arms out, scoop these buildings, and claim them as mine. And I really, that was going to be tough with what you had, but uh, my dice were just on fire. Like, I feel bad because I, like, I dice for this game. That's, that's the only reason I really won. Um, and, you know, to be fair, in my last game, my dice were totally on fire, and I just beat up on Rich, too. So, you know, it happens. Yeah, it, was, like, <laughs> it was totally on It was ridiculous. Like, you need fours, doubles on sixes, and I'm rolling three sixes and stuff like that. It was ridiculous. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and at the end, it was still, still a mad dash. You know, I, I had to get something over there to contest, and this was crucial. So, it was still close despite that, you know. There was, there was still a, a pivotal point that had to happen. Even after losing six walkers in three turns, so yeah, you know, I just uh, I don't know how I feel about the uh, the points. Yeah, and I agree on that. We were, so we were talking through different scenarios, and if my um, Odin and Zeus here had managed to kill one Gladius, which was not, uh, you know, out of the question, like I mean, it could have happened in like turn three or turn four because they're just pounding on the whole game. And if I had had either the Odin or like a one Phobos or maybe two Ares alive here at the end of the game, which again. If the dice had been a little more average, would have been, you know, not out of the question at all. I would have won the mission, and the outcome would have been we we figured eleven to nine. But because of that, of those two units pivoting that way, he wins the mission on victory points. And then because he wins the mission on victory points, he also gets all these bonus points. And instead, the result is seventeen to three. And so I don't. It's just not very reflective of how close.
close the game is. I don't really like those overkill rules that much. Um, so anyway, we'll see. Uh, you know, we, I don't know if, how people feel about uh, changing the tournament rules to more of like a win-loss format, like something like they do in the LVO and 40K, or um, or I don't know, maybe just toning down the the kill points bonuses a little bit because uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of kind of distorted right now. I don't know. Any other thoughts? You glad you drew, took the drive out from it from Savannah? Was it worth it? Yeah, it was a good four-hour drive, but you know I got to meet all you guys and we're just trying to come back out. I yeah, we highly suggest you get a chance to come to one of the tournaments here at Game Fight Seeds. Appreciate it, and thanks for coming up. I mean, four-hour drives, no joke. So we appreciate it. All right, so that's it. Um, we'll uh, I'll be posting up on the Hawk forums pretty soon when our next tournament is, and uh, everyone should come. Have a good one.